The Throne PPN-8 is the main sidearm of security staff aboard Talos-1 in the 2017 video game Prey. Described as a light-duty pistol, it is an integrally suppressed 9mm semi-automatic handgun with a hodgepodge of features from different handgun designs. Its size and grip panels are reminiscent of a 1911, its frame is blocky like a Glock, it's integrally suppressed and front-heavy like a Maxim 9, and it operates via toggle lock like a Luger. It features a 15-round magazine by default, and a digital round counter that also somehow knows how many spare cartridges you have. The muzzle device appears to be a heavy compensator rather than part of the suppressor, given that it is slotted at the top and a suppressor should never have any holes in it, save for the one the bullet's supposed to come out of. In fact, the compensator looks as if it's a detachable piece. This makes the potential length of the barrel and suppressor quite short. Given the small size of the toggle lock, I infer that this is an ejection port, despite being of the style typical to slide-operated pistols and that this is a bolt rather than the outside of a chamber. Marked on that bolt are the character's 9mmp, likely standing for 9mm Parabellum, in case there were any doubts as to which particular 9mm cartridge this weapon is chambered in. Other markings include a serial number and or patent number on both sides of the frame, and what I'm guessing is the throne logo and name on the compensator's left side. There are a few technical issues with the pistol. The charging handle reciprocates with each shot, which indicates that it is directly fixed to the bolt, yet it does not lock back when the toggle lock does. A red dot indicating a disengaged safety is present behind the grip, the only problem being that there is no safety lever. The sights are mostly obstructed by the compensator, though this may be more of an in-universe flaw rather than a design oversight, since the compensator seems to be an optional accessory. But most glaringly, there is a substantial muzzle flash with each shot. These muzzle flashes indicate powder exploding once it has left the gun, which does not at all qualify as suppressed. The game does give us some information about the specific 9mm ammunition that is kept aboard Talos-1. The bullets are 130 grain jacketed hollow points. The muzzle energy is stated to be 590 foot-pounds. This is quite higher than most 9mm loadings can achieve. Additionally, the muzzle velocity is listed at 1450 feet per second, which isn't crazy high, but what's the speed of sound again? Oh right, it's 1125 feet per second. So even if the suppressor did contain all the exploding propellant, you don't have access to subsonic ammunition anyways. Some security staff in the game deride the PPN-8 for being weak, and even say that it's mostly for show, despite the formidable ballistic performance outclassing most modern 9mm loadings. Though it is true that in-game the default performance of the handgun is underwhelming, there is a gold-plated and somewhat Art Deco textured PPN-8 in the game that has slightly higher base damage. It's called the Artemis Golden Gun, and once belonged to a world champion sports shooter, suggesting that the PPN-8 is either very prolific in the world of Prey, or at least that it is well suited to precision sports. From a lore perspective, it makes a lot of sense to have a suppressed handgun as the primary security firearm aboard a space station like Talos-1. Gunshots are louder indoors, with the sound waves having more surfaces to bounce off of. Having a suppressed weapon would go a long way to prevent hearing damage, should there be a need to discharge your weapon on station. Plus, given that the station is home to many staff members and even hosts VIPs, there's no reason the whole station needs to know when you're doing target practice or dealing with a security threat. If your sidearm can handle it, then it's presumably not that big of a deal anyway. Anything more severe, though, and you're probably safe to discard that consideration. If the PPN-8 is suitable for routine security operations, then the Throne S4 Tactical Combat Shotgun is for when shit gets serious. As a weapon that likely saw very little use before the Typhon outbreak, being reserved only for emergencies, it is important that it was simple in function and easy to use. You can't get much more intuitive than a pump-action shotgun. The S4 is on the shorter side for a shotgun. It has a hexagonal barrel, an ejection port on the right side, a proper safety, and even a stock with an adjustable butt pad and cheek riser. The digital round counter is again present, though with a slightly worrying amount of exposed electrical components. The default capacity is four shells of 12 gauge, which is believable if we're counting the tube only. The S4 has some technical issues of its own. Empty shell casings are ejected when fire, rather than when the pump action is worked. The rear aperture sight is mounted a good bit higher than the front bead sight, and of course, a video game classic, the shotgun is pumped after every reload. Not much information can be gleaned from the shell box, other than that they are in fact 12 gauge shells. The description of the item claims that they are high velocity shells. On firing, 9 projectiles are fired from the barrel, which is just the right amount to indicate that it's double lot buckshot. Shotguns have always been considered a strong option for defense and close quarters fighting, so it's not a surprising weapon to find in the armory of a high profile security team. They offer substantial power per shot while dividing that power between multiple less dangerous projectiles. Whether by intentional design or as a simple consequence of the devs only including two different guns in the game, 
There are no firearms aboard Talos-1 which pose a serious risk of overpenetration. This is very good, since a space station is basically an occupied building that can kill you if you poke a hole in it. Intermediate cartridge carbines and high-power rifles, in addition to posing a major hazard of collateral damage, wouldn't make much tactical sense aboard Talos-1, which mostly consists of enclosed spaces and unarmored targets. It's comforting to know the Trans Star is so conscious of firearm safety. Oh wait, fuck, I forgot about the turrets. No! <laughs>